I wouldn't really call my um, channel a review channel, but I happen to be out in the van this evening anyway. Um, and I've just got one of these. It's a Ridge Monkey um, sandwich toaster, I think is officially called. Um, we're going to try and use it to cook um, everything we can kind of cook in it, really. Um, since I've had the van, we do cook a lot when we go away in it. We use the, the, the 9 treble 2 um, Smeb hop in here quite a lot. Um, but ideally we want something that we can cook outside more. We do have stoves. Um, hopefully this is going to make it easier. This is something you can combine more kind of things into one and do like a kind of a mix of stuff when you're cooking together. Um, also, I wanted something that you could cook with that was a bit more like an oven, it retained the heat in. Um, normally we're just cooking with um, kind of frying pans or pots and stuff like that. If we're weighing it, um, and Alice is here, she'll do a lot of um, really good cooking. Whereas with me, um, not so much. So um, what I really wanted is something that I could probably try and cook a pizza in. It's not the most healthy thing I know, but once you've gone for a nice surf, it's really nice sometimes afterwards having a, a nice pizza. Um, and at the moment we've not got a solution at all um, to do that. So I bought this, it's the Ridge Monkey um, sandwich toaster. Now this is the XL version. It looks pretty small to be honest. I'd hate to think how small the normal version is. I think they are kind of designed for fishermen to just kind of do a toasted sandwich while they are, they're fishing. So I think they made them small on purpose. Um, but this is it basically, this is the new Mark II version, so it's got the black finish on it. Um, it also comes with these cool utensils. Now they are very small, I'm not sure how much these are going to be, but it's nice they come with them, it's nice and compact, and um, if you're caught short we could always use them. So, I mean, to put it in perspective, they're about the size of my hand probably, so you're looking at quite small utensils there. Um, but still, it's nice to come with it. Um, the actual grill bit itself is this really nice, um, quite solid aluminium with this kind of Teflon type um, coating on it to uh, obviously anti-stick coating. And what it basically does is it sandwiches together um, and creates quite a tight seal actually around the edge because it's machined aluminium, um, which retains most of the heat, which is why you can get away with using it a bit like an oven, um, putting some low heat on it and um, trying to cook something that you can't normally just cook with a pan or, or in a saucepan or something like that. So um, tonight I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try doing a pizza in it. Um, and I'm gonna use a Chicago hometown deep dish pizza just because I think it's just about gonna fit inside this. I think it's gonna be the perfect size. Um, I'll probably try and make a sandwich as well with it. It is a sandwich toaster. So I've got a few ingredients with me. I'm going to be going for a mozzarella and ham and tomato sandwich, so um, kind of muffin type um, grilled sandwich, so hopefully it'll come out quite nicely. Um, just while we're talking about it still, um, they do these in two colours now, so they do them in a silver and a black. I went for the black version, um, hopefully it won't mark up um, too quickly. Um, I'm hoping it's going to hide some of the burn marks you get on the aluminium kind of coloured ones. Put it into perspective for you as well. I've hunted around the uh, the old disc collection, and this is a obviously a standard CD, and that's the size comparison with a CD. So you can see it is quite small. Um, it's not massive, but um, you should just be able to get enough. Well, two sandwiches and then maybe four or two people. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll get it on. The pizza reckons it takes 18 minutes. Was it 22? 22 minutes in a normal oven. So I'm going to see um, by using the, the 9 treble 2 um, exactly how long it takes, how well it cooks it, and I'll give the sandwich a go as well. And um, yeah, see how it comes out. So um, yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. Luckily, I've had the fridge on all day because it's absolutely sweltering. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK at the moment. Um, it's been about 31 degrees today. Um, this van does not have air conditioning so this fridge or this cool box um, I'll put a link up to a thing I did about the fridge uh, the cool box sorry because we don't actually have a, a compressor fridge in here we try and get by just using a cool box which works most of the time this type of weather it does struggle a bit 
uh, but it still gives us chilled water to drink so it is a bit of a lifesaver um, and it's a bit of a budget solution so if you want to check that out um, yeah I'll crack on anyway I'll catch up in a minute and uh, see what the results are Right, I've finished cooking those two things now. Um, the pizza, you have to have it on really, really low heat. Uh, the Smev 9222s aren't renowned for being very um, very powerful anyway. On the main hob, on the lowest setting, it's too hot for it. It does slightly burn the bottom. If you put it on the main um the hottest setting and turn it around as if you're going to turn it off you can just get it cold enough uh, or low enough setting for it to um cook it properly um i think if you had a low setting it's probably going to take roughly the same time as an oven if you have it a bit higher um it do it in literally 10 minutes uh, but you do run the risk of uh, burning the base it's not too bad i've got away of it but you could tell if it was on there a bit longer it kind of would have finished it off you can't flip it too much as well because it just kind of all melts it's a deep base Chicago hometown kind of mini one and they are like pretty deep filling so it just kind of melts all over the side if you try and um, if you try and do that with it so I think a normal pizza would probably like a smaller normal one would probably work um, a bit better um, the sandwich yeah it worked fine like you'd expect as it's designed for it um, it literally took about 10 minutes to toast that on like again probably the lowest setting i could get it i definitely recommend if you've got one stick it on the um the small hob on the nine triple two um probably on the lowest setting that'll do as well because that's going to uh, give you a lot less um kind of heat and just stop it burning stuff but yeah overall i'm pretty impressed um it tastes good it's worked out quite nicely um yeah so hopefully it'll come in handy get some use out of it and uh, solve some of our issues so Hope you found it interesting anyway. Uh, if you're considering buying one, it does seem a good solution to try and keep the heat contained to, like I say, try and get a bit more of an oven effect. The pizza was cooking on the top. You didn't really need to flip it. Um, it's just, I wanted to try and speed it up a bit. So if you're a bit more patient with it and you didn't mind waiting the 22 minutes, which is kind of what it takes in the oven anyway for those, um, it probably come out exactly the same to be honest you just got to keep your eye on that heat setting really um, hope you found it interesting hope you found it useful um, if you have give it a thumbs up uh, leave me any comments if you, you want me to answer any more questions and stuff like that and um, I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.